What's going on guys, it's Apex, back with another Destiny 2 video, but this time we're going to be going through the trailer that was supposed to be for the reveal stream going over new weapons and armor in the Curse of Osiris. I'm going to play that trailer in full speed, uh, full volume, everything, and then uh, after that we're going to break it down, we're going to take it to half speed, go through it, find all the little details that we can find and point out for you, and we'll just go from there so enjoy the trailer and i'll talk to you here shortly if the vex succeed it's the end of everything anywhere we could stop them we must Alright guys, so now we're going to break this down uh, piece by piece, uh, frame by frame even, to try to spot every little bit of detail we can get out of this. Uh, there were some new weapons that you could see and definitely some new armor as well as some new emotes. Uh, you guys all saw that, so we're going to just go through it slow-mo and I'm going to give you some of my impressions on the armor and we're just going to take a better look at some of this stuff. So let's see what we got. So starting off right away, we see this. It's uh, the Warm Heart, basically. It's the next Trace Rifle. I'm going to go ahead and assume it's exotic, considering the ornamentation on it. It looks really sweet, and I know a lot of people thought that this was just going to be a new ornament for the Cold Heart. At least a few people have said that in the past when we first saw this in another trailer. But this is definitely a new weapon, as you can see right here, and this is all brand new as well. So that's pretty cool. We're getting a new trace rifle. It'll be the second one. And again, I do assume it will be exotic because of the ornamentation and how nice it looks in general. So we'll just continue on now. Now, uh, right here, this is the Titan armor that we saw in the last stream. It is, I believe, the Osiris themed armor. Uh, in my opinion, it looks pretty cool, kind of bulky. I don't like the helmet very much personally, but then that might just be me. I rock an exotic helmet most of the time on my Titan anyway, so nothing crazy for me. Uh, this is the this is some hunter armor. It actually looks like the knucklehead radar is on, but that chest piece looks new. Now correct me if I'm wrong, the boots look new. Can't really tell the gauntlets or the cloak. It looks like there's a little spike right there too, so I'm not sure what set that is exactly, but the helmet looks like the knucklehead radar. So that, that's the new Hunter with the Trace Rifle in use right there. Uh, continuing on, we know this is an exotic. This is the grenade launcher that shoots little spider projectiles, as you can see right here. So basically when you shoot, the projectile will land and these little robotic spider things start chasing the enemy, which is really interesting. That looks really cool. Uh, I'm excited to use this weapon. I mean, does that mean that you will never miss with a rock or a grenade launcher? Kind of hope so, because I do not have the best aim when it comes to rocket launchers. So as you can see, it chases him. Pretty deadly, apparently. Um, moving on, we see a new emote. Little new dance moves. And let's just go through some of the armor real quick. So we're going to start with the Hunter. Uh, this is brand new looking armor, but I do believe that this is just the ornamentation of the future war cult armor. As you can see, it has like the gold chain, the chain link armor right here on the cloak, which makes me believe that this is the new monarchy armor because that's the only cloak in the game that has that, unless they introduce more cloaks similar. Uh, so I believe that's what it is. We'll try to get more into that a little bit later. Uh, the Titan looks really cool. I like that leg armor, actually. And uh, the helmet has that big spike in it. We'll see that a lot easier here in a minute. 
The Warlock looks like the uh, Beta armor or the Ikora armor. That's the same helmet, I believe. I could be wrong. I might be wrong. We'll have to check into that. But the cloak looks really cool. The gauntlets look pretty cool. That might just be the bond. Can't, yeah, that's the bond because his arm is curved right there. So never mind. That's, that's just the bond. Uh, moving on. So now we get a better look at the hunter armor for sure. Looks like it has a little lion right there. And another reason why I believe this is the new monarchy ornamented armor is because it's the same exact style. That errant knight armor. But uh, obviously revamped because again I think it's just the ornamentation of it. Uh, I don't see any logos though right now so it might be a little bit hard to judge and tell necessarily. Uh, this is the spike helmet again. We'll see more of that later. That's a better look of that warlock cloak that I really like. And uh, as well as like the little sash. It looks pretty cool. So moving on we have... Oh, what was that? Okay, so that's a better look. So yeah, that is actually the uh, Optimacy armor for the Warlock. That's what that helmet is. It's not the Ikora one. and Which is good, because I love this helmet. I think this helmet is the best Warlock helmet in the game. It just looks so good. Now, I like the gauntlets a lot. That looks really cool. Again, the cloak looks cool. Now uh, the Titan shoulder pads, they also look really cool. I like that. The helmet, that's a pretty good look at the helmet right there. And now I'm now I'm really starting to think that this is the new monarchy ornaments because if you look right here really closely, that kind of looks like the new monarchy logo, the little three lines that they have. And then that chain, that chain armor again right there on the hood, which it's the only one in the game that has that, so looks really good. An even better look. That looks really cool. Uh, again, I like the shoulder pads. And then this has me interested because right here, I mean, we see the new monarchy cloak again, but the gauntlets look totally different. It has like these blue spikes out of them. It looks like similar to like the Crota armor from. Uh, the Triumph in Destiny 1, which is really cool with the cool spikes coming out. I like that. Uh, right here, we can see those spikes again, and the Warlock actually has spikes. Again, I do believe that's the new Monarchy armor right there that they're showing off for the Hunter, except maybe the Gauntlets. I think the Gauntlets are something totally different. Uh, we see the Future War Cult chest piece on the Warlock, the Helmet. Honestly, I don't know where these gauntlets come from unless that's the ornamentation for future war cult gear And the hunter is wearing future war cult gear as well. I'm not sure yet where those are from I've got vex blowing up. That's cool the mic drop emote, which is also really cool with that horned helmet once again So a lot of interesting things in this trailer and one thing a lot of people missed was actually the sweeper bot emote right there, which is really awesome. I'm excited for that emote. I don't know why. I just think it's really cool. I'm most definitely going to want to pick that up. And yeah, that's basically all that we can really get out of this. Uh, we got that exotic. I do believe that this, this is going to be an exotic as well. And that looks like that looks like new monarchy gear, and it looks like it has the same lion that the hunter had on its chest piece. So I'm gonna call it right now that this is the ornamented uh, new monarchy armor that that hunter was wearing 100%. I would almost bet on it that that is the new monarchy armor for sure. This armor, I couldn't tell you where any of this comes from P possibly the new raid layer i couldn't tell you so well that's it for me guys uh please rate like comment subscribe all those good things subscribing takes two seconds and is greatly appreciated and thank you for checking out my video have a good day